During the 2013 housing boom, thousands of Chinese-Australian property investors were buying up apartments straight off the plan, developed by one of Australia's largest property developers, the Raylan Group. The group was building apartment high-rises both in Sydney and the Gold Coast, with units selling out before they had even been built. But now it's all over. The Raylan Group went into administration in July this year with $500 million in debt and five unfinished projects. The group was founded by William O'Dwyer, who is the company's sole director. He has declined any interview requests, but when approached in person by the ABC, he said, Obviously, events like this where we've got TV shows and the media do not assist in any way in coming up with a solution for the investors, which is my absolute paramount priority. I'm not going to answer any questions. His lawyers issued a statement saying, Mr. O'Dwyer deeply regrets the stress and anxiety caused to creditors by Rayland going into administration. We stress that any negative publicity in relation to our client and the Rayland Group could jeopardise any rescue or restructure proposal. People might be tempted to blame Australia's housing downturn on the collapse of the Raylan Group, but it turns out that there were several internal factors at play. The company used new investors' deposits to keep the company afloat. After apartments were sold, the group would create side contracts that would effectively treat each deposit as a loan. They were essentially borrowing money from their buyers. Saeed Jahani from the administrator Grant Thornton commented on these dodgy practices. From what we can tell, they've been doing this right from the beginning. That created a massive flow of funds into Raylan. As long as they kept developing the next project, they always had the next pre-sale going and allowing that to then continue to fund the working capital for the business. Unfortunately, for a lot of the investors, the outcome will be very, very poor. Secondly, a Chinese-speaking sales team were employed by Raylan to target the Australian-Chinese community. Word of mouth spread and Chinese Australians came in droves to buy into the latest developments. Stanley Xie was a salesman at Raylan for six years and was the first insider to speak out publicly about his former employer. He said, Because of me, they lost their money. Because of my sales. Because I pushed. Because I allowed such a tragedy to happen. This is a big tragedy because for many of the clients, their money was not easy to make. They give such hope. They give such trust to you. So I feel guilty. When asked how he found his clients, he said he simply looked up Chinese names in the telephone directory. You can find them from the white pages. You can find them from any phone book. You see the surname and you can find out. For example, my surname is Xie or Wong or Chen. When Stanley came to Australia 30 years ago, he started out driving taxis. After losing his job at Raylan, he's now back on the road driving Uber. Stanley met one of his first clients for Raylan, a small business owner by the name of Leon Chen, at a community group back in 2013. He convinced him to invest $250,000 in two apartments. Mr. Chen had these words to say, It's a disaster. I'm young and I can still come back from it, compared to the older retired people. They probably invested in this to try to get some more income to support their life, but now they've lost everything. I also referred two of my relatives in China. They bought one unit each. They just trusted me. Now I've lost my trust. I don't know what I can say to them. Mr. Chen is one of about 300 investors who have registered their interest in a class action being investigated by Sydney lawyer Matthew Bransgrove. He told the ABC, A lot of them are in shock. I spoke to a woman who invested $4 million of her superannuation and her family's superannuation money and she was too ashamed to tell her family that it was all gone. One can only wonder how many similar cases are occurring across Australia's property sector now that two decades of frenzied apartment building is slowing down. Administrator Sai Jahani commented, I suspect there are probably other businesses out there in similar positions. There is a lot of money looking for a home. It would not surprise me if there are other examples of this in Australia right now. Anyway, that's it for me. Thanks for watching.